last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Toka was the last to arrive and now she was just standing there. No! Why? 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 <laughs> and now, back to trying to ditch school. Just do it. It'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Day 98 here, and I'm back for more Dragon Europa Trigger Happy Havoc. I just watered myself. <sighs> Anyways, last time we started investigating. <coughs> <coughs> Oh god, Fuzusaki's death, and Tagami was like, you're my assistant now, so yay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work with Tagami. Oh, anyways, let's get started. Let's, let's see, let's look for some stuff. Let's see, kind of catch to it. Chilling. Hmm. Well, block it just seems like it's a kind of machine. Nothing there. There are three that's No clues here. Or this. It's a mailbox here. I wonder if I have mail. Maybe there's something inside? It's three handbooks. All for me? Oh, thanks, mailbox. No, wait, there's three of them. Well, what are they doing here? <coughs> so, you finally found them. Huh? Did you know they were here, Tagami? I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seemed there was a system in place where the handbooks of the dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then these three handbooks belong to... Junko, Leon, and Mizono? Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when it, I did... You're right! This is Mizuno's handbook. Hmm. Now do you understand, peasant? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. I think I bit my tongue. Mm. Oh. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing some, someone else's is perfectly fine. Yeah, I see ya. Yeah. Now I understand. Many, many, many hall e-handbooks have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong now? Very strange. Hmm, that's strange. One of the handbooks. 
won't turn on. Is it broken? Who is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory of it came flooding back. The look in his eyes. The fear. The despair. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right! It would be surprising for the handbook to break during all that kind of assault. Damn it. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Now I'm really angry! What? Handbook is insult us didn't live here. Crystal integral is brutal. It's never a big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. That's impossible. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can just stand up to 10,000 tons of pressure. 10,000 of pressure. 10,000. No, no. And it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't, I don't care how many baseball he, he, I don't care how many baseball hits you hit with. It wouldn't do crap. Uh, but my even my amazing e handbook has does have one weak point. It does. I can't hear you. <laughs> but it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more e handbooks. What? Mm. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing. What its weakness was, right? Hmm. Hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Even the question hanging in the air when Akuma disappeared. What just happened? My Koopa said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it, doesn't so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. The handbook has been added to the truth bolts. <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Fusasaki. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? What do you mean by that, Tagami? To be exact, not quite, quote, quote. Certainly, I want to reveal Fushisaki's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Can you really think? You truly believe that Genocide Jack is the one who killed Fushisaki? Don't make me repeat myself. Absol absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the, true, is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's nobody else it, um, There's nobody else. It could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. It's like a ghost attacking suddenly and flipping away before the police can catch up with, to them. And what nickname did, this inter did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. 
They say he kills. They say he's killed thousands of people. That's gotta be an urban legend. Still, can one of us be a will it be a demented psychotic psychotic killer like that? <laughs> hmm. You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean but words mean so little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. And I have a basis to believe that I assure you, just I Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will prove all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one who killed Fusasaki. And then something like that really. Hey, you two! Need your help? I don't have time to play with you. We're busy. Leave us alone. I mean... This is an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please! You gotta help me! Such ignorance. Such an annoying girl. Please! This is serious! This is a serious emergency! P please! Please, man, you gotta help. You gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Hina? I mean, but but it's an it's emergency. Emergency? What happened? Well, something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Tagami? Very strange. Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Wow, you're so... Are you sure you're so intrigued about this? Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought he'd say, say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Wait for us, Hina! Let's go. Lexi's head to the dorms, to Toko's rooms, most likely. You're right. Uh, you guys are too sl you guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. <laughs> so what's this emergency? So, um... Well, well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in the, her room so he could lay down. After a while, she, we came back to check on her. You know? Uh, see how she was doing. But what we did... It was weird. She was free to come, come out and she got all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her, her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. up and do it. I might as well give it a shot. I did bomb her for, for a while. <coughs> the doors swung open slowly and silently. Holy crap! An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Just like that, see the door in my face. What? What was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that. She's been acting like that the whole time. 
when I rang a little while ago. I'll drive out the killer! Drive out the mysterious fiend! Um... Does that make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her, her. I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to down the door. But it felt like something was behind her. It sat on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Tucker was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as as Tagami? Does she think that serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? I said his name right. Yay! Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Hey, Tagami, you think you could ask her? Do I remember my name? That's fine. Sure, whatever. Talk to her? Tagami? Well, I guess you can be nice when you want to. <sighs> Tagami stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed her doorbell. After a few moments. What do you want? Leave me alone. You're all so annoying. Oh. Ah! Bakula! It's Byakuya. I'm, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry. Never again. I will help the inside Jack have control ever again. And that the door slammed shut. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, even Tiakami can't pull it off. Hmm. Nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on! Hey, Tagami, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Hmm, oh. I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But... Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. I'll take I'll take her and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. But morning reply, Tagami just sped away. Tagami! I heard he catch up. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't look back, let alone say anything. What a prick! He just kept walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought Tim to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? <sighs> Come on, let's go in. It's reading time. Um, is the evidence that proved it was genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. There, we need to find real clues. Elsewhere, okay. Off. What's the dust lap matter right now? Mm. Aha! It's this desk! Like your sister. There we need to check elsewhere. Okay. Here. Okay, I'm missing something, obviously. Okay, 
uh, still forcing us to go through this. Screw this. I'm out of here. The door. It's the, oh! It's the archives, right? I thought this way out. <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here. Let's go. Well, it makes sense once you're inside. I've never checked this before, I don't think. Oh, there's so many books and files. So much dust too. So in other words, I would say there's enough value in this place to sort of endure the dust. <laughs> the box is empty. Just about as much as dust that looks like there's something inside. I wonder what that was. Hmm. There's an existing core plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. This is a court, huh? Huh, it's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I, I saw, think I've been using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. Too dark over there, so I, I put it to good use. And it has money in it. <coughs> it's stuffed with stuff type of files. Well, th well, thinking of it, I put, put the one at random. Oh, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That is the report on the presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be disclassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up you might wind up in for peeking at it. I guess now I turned the, the shelf. All these things. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a common peasant, for a commoner peasant like you. You mean like members of the diet or something? No, I mean the ones who rule power, the secret council. Ruling everything from from the shadows, like CERN. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are very some very interesting people in there. Y y you're kidding, right? Hmm. Am I? I'll let go for now. If you pay to, to your surroundings, you're sure to discover that value for yourself. Let's look, self. 
If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. The kind of thing that a normal person wouldn't, wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files there are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you expect to leak. Oh. Hmm. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in this, in this in the library is because of this room right here. Hmm. Interesting. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such ignorance. <laughs> That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit your preconceived reality, you label it as, as a lie. <clears throat> well, it's not that. It's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put it all, all this together? Hmm. Hmm. I suppose it just gets to show you how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps... <laughs> The mastermind may have wanted us to provide us of information to keep us from getting bored. Uh, at least I can keep it all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like this are, are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do ya? Ass. Besides, what you consider usual is based upon your common sense, right? <clears throat> what, makes you th what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? The documents he gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Uh, hold on a second! You're saying you reveal you read all these documents and more than once, but all this has to be like top secret, confidential stuff, right? So why? Hmm. Hmm. My family has a reading room just like this one at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Hmm. Members of the Tagami family have access to any number of government-related documents. And that includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? So in other words... I already told you. It's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. And I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to, to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all the levels of this world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever document and material that interests me. Okay. Which is why I can proclaim without doubt the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Oh. 
The Gomni's actually starting to scare me more than the real mastermind. Hmm. And what always interests me the most were the cold cases is police re investigation reports. Reading through those has, reports has been always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases by just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites. It's a genocide jack case. As he talked, Tagami grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report trying genocide jack cases have been compiled here. Hmm. Because there are so many, uh, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two noble characteris characterizations in every genocide jack murder. The first character characteristic <laughs> is that at every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that this, when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust and the, and the is written in blood, and the body's victim is suspended. Is it exactly the same what happened to Fuzaki? <laughs> Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Hmm. For, the, for, the second for the second characteristic, the victims are suspended. The only ones who knew about the, that particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one in the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about the, this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Fuzusaki's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in that fashion. So how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That is the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So in other words... The, co the, the corporate isn't a copycat killer. It's the real genocide, Jack. Yeah. In other words, that's right. There is evidence that genocide Jack is, has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then genocide Jack really is. Is this a brutal Phoenix killer really hang, walking among us? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined that killer with such a reputation would be every part of our little game. Now, don't you think we could look for you, take a look at what you, I've already seen? He's my man to ferret out clear too. Such ignorance. If you get down your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. So, okay, so this <laughs> Um, Tagami, a Bethel Genocide Jack case file. Can you let me see it? That's fine. Well, he didn't beg. I guess okay this, this time. So if you look at it in here, you can't take it with you.
So got me having the files. I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where the photos were like seeing that each prime had been collected. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. 32... Oh, older, older men too. Oh. Ken Harda, 32. Tasha Honda, 17. Shoei Gaku, 23. Kenna Ishiel, 14. Taka Isori, 30. I'm 14. Yeah, that was her first vic his first victim. There's no end to it. I can't pronounce these names. One thing perfectly clear as I read. All the killers, countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. And the scene of every murder, the, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. Now look at the, ne the next page, you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? Profiling results. Other crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during the holidays, either day or night. The most common time for killing to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it can be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggested that the suspect lingered at the scene. When they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there are any ex ex internal witness reasons for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. So, in other words, the key point here is that the corp culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality, like the, like the kind of thing you see on TV? So I'm probably another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up, up till now. Maybe... Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Inside, inside Jack has been added case bullets. Let's go. All right, we should get going soon. Huh, where are we going? You remember here? We finished our business here, haven't we? Uh, wait, Tagami. As usual, Tagami returned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things to, I need to take care of before the class trial. How does this sound? Does this all sound like that? I don't have time to play with you. Come on, enough of your annoying misrepresentations. Did you really think we'd be together this whole time? Take responsibility. For yourself and do something useful. Move the application forward on your own. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just like that, he was gone. He, as quickly as he asked me to join him, he cut me off. In the end, I felt like the play things getting tossed around. In time, I covered some very important clues thanks to him. That's I Jack. He's the one who killed Fuzusaki. And that murderous thing. It's one of us? Who is it? I, if I know that answer, no matter what it takes. 
Do that. I need to investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. Let's check the boys' locker room, too. The others might have kind of some useful info. I might, I might find useful on that. I need to find anything else that I can. Ding ding ding! You feel me as discovered the evidence? We've been the idea of the corporate! I feel as if. Another stat increase for me! Evidence, what did you find? Mm -hmm. I can't feel that just yet! That's it! I'm sure of it! I guarantee you I found the little killer's breath from his lungs! You sure about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Yeah, Miss Lindenberg says it was something useful for file too! Really, what did she see? Well, it would seem. See if you tell me. Like when a girl boys have boys he likes, right? Right? Okay, where's Celeste now? Mm. 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 The warehouse by the She was there, but at the same, same time, not there. What's it gonna be? This poster? Popular boy band called Tornado. Someone doesn't feel quite fit in the boys' locker room. There's a strange there's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys locker room corp carpet has been added to the bolt your handbook. section. Damn. Cheryl's presence was puzzled. Here is puzzling weak. Her body and, and her soul. Sorry, this is a helpless being. It's unforgivable. Well, a wretched beast would do such a thing. I cannot forgive this! Yeah, the real comes about being weak. You're ever talking, talking about it, right? You're ever talking about it, right? All I need to do is stronger. Yeah, do you remember she said that more than once? Sure did. But I guess it explains the trip down here. That badly? Gary, have you made any progress in your investigation? Indeed. Hmm, generally speaking. However. I have to get going. I have some I'm really to take care of. Any besides investigation? What is it? Wow. Nothing you need to worry about. It's gonna turn the murder. But so then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Cheryl's body one one more time. Thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. Might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kirigiri turned and left the girls' locker room. I said they'd take another look at the body then. And your hero's handbook is missing? It's something worth wor wor worrying about. Oh, 
Alright, but. I think most of the swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. This locker room seems like the place you find this. It reminds me, the place where the locker room is. Sorry, it still leads to me straight about this. The boys' locker room, there's a poster of the popular boy band. We're supposed to have a breast, this big breasted swimsuit model? Posters have been switched? But if, they, if they're here, what reason would anyone have? Who knows it look the locker rooms? Carrie Gurry says we to the body one more time. And at least he said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. My regular shot anyways. Let's see. Carol's hands are bound with some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in a specific position. Huh? Rope has a plug? Wait, it doesn't rope at all. I'm not thinking about it. More, that's not the only thing that concerns me. Kill's fatal injury was a blow to the head. This means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't think any reason to think too much about either of them. But, but seeing them again after looking through the Josiah Jack files, something's not quite right. What's all this mean? Well, the one thing that most like tied all these mysteries together is the nature of the rope that was used to spin Fujisaki. They figured that out. There's a certain place. I need to. Re re revisit it look over again. Also, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case files one more time. You spent a lot of time exercising the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? Of course. <laughs> I use it. Every I've used it every you nearly know, every day since it opened it up. up. Sometimes he and I used to go together. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in their boys and girls' locker room could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I cannot really say. I had never paid attention to the posters. I see. However, <laughs> but there, but there, there is something that's behind me at this locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. And the warehouse. In the warehouse, it's not the it's not the highest quality, but I don't have any other kind of options. <laughs> I mix the protein powder with coffee and, and down a glass after exercising. Anyways, the other day, I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room, left a stain. A stain? Well, I'll see you stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed the other day, the stain has disappeared. <laughs> I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it usually clean? I said there wasn't a stain to begin with. Can't do a soccer voice. Strange stain has been added to the troop bullets at your handbook. In the wall in blood. There's like case cases where the bullets were written on the victim's own blood. There we go! Whee! Whee! Da 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 da! Da 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 da!
Jetzt fehlt schon schon die Sahne. Das ist das erste Netz. Plus, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that. Have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. And you're gonna ask me that. Talk about the warehouse itself. I may have misdirected you, but I see it was pointless. You did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. Actually. Last time I saw her, he her, her here, Fusaki was in this warehouse. What, really? Indeed. This was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> She stuffed the jacket in her handbag in a hurry. It was like almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it, it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed strictly into the girls' locker room. She had broken our rule, none of this would, would have happened. <laughs> you ate the shrimp, I suppose. So apparently, she was in the girls' locker room late at night to in order to exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there's no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag, it's less says she, she saw Fusaki carrying. Which means the killer would have got, had to get rid of it somehow. Plus the kind of add to your truth bolts. Back to the library, I guess. Or maybe we can't make some rounds around here, anything else around here. Again. Oh, there's, there you are. How unfortunate. Maybe we should have uh, a race secret after all. <laughs> Damn it, I'm so sorry for Sakai. Well, because I used strong enough. That's right. It's all your fault, Taka. Oh, 
I'm gonna take another look at the Genocide Jack case file. It was right here somewhere. Oh, that's gone! I'm gonna take it out of the archive? I'm gonna do something like that. I can't think of anyone else but Tagami. I have to assume Tagami took it. Huh. But why? Huh, the lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see it's not plugged in. Well, I'm core isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. So it's definitely on, definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Gummy was using an existing cord. There's a cord here now. I wonder if. Top the desk. A clue here. Guess not. Right, wrong, wrong way. Is everything? Nope. In here? Please be, <laughs> please be quiet. Floor. They also shot me a blow to the head. What a weapon. Yeah. Harper, you have to throw murder. Down here somewhere. Check. Check the gym, I guess. Okay, uh. Nope, nobody right here. Anything else myself, that's for sure. Then I looked inside the mailbox. Uh huh. I locked it here inside. Our Leon, Junker Leon, because the handbooks. It's the answer right here. There's something else. Let's see if I have it. It's the rules. Otherwise, if I'm borrowing one, it appears to turn on. Come on, it's still be broken. Is this really unrated the case? Either way, something about still bothers me. Huh. 
Right here. Oh, Hina. Oh, oh, Hina, how's Tuck we doing? Mm. Same as before. She won't come outside. She's trying to remember what she's inside Jack. I just left her there. You left her? I was all swimming and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm about to head back there as soon as I'm done eating. So not, so not, so not I'm not so worried about her. Thinking of which one are you eating? A donut, of course! Of course. There are two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Maybe it's pretty sad you like to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Spend time, I just spent more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Well. Yeah, she's a little strange, but strange. She didn't really hang out with the girls, other girls that much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even, even though you invite her to exercise with you, she always, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, it's true. It wasn't just, it wasn't just us either. It's like she changed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. She talked to all the boys all the time. Isn't that kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Uh. Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to the guy spoiling her. The law, the law says you can't just book by a cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her that kind of, that type of kind of girl. Ah. Mm. Um. So, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for: the class trial. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. In the class trial or about to begin. The red door, it's right through the, right through here. Well, they never cast a trial, but we'll do that next time. Oh, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumb up button for me and the, and the bell icon if you haven't yet. And, and please, if you can if, if you can afford it in this trying times, a little help from the a little help from the Patreons and uh, uh, Amazon Amazon's list. It's always appreciated. But in the meantime, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.